Do you think rack of lamb is too fancy to make at home? My crusted rack of lamb uses pistachios and mustard to make a moist and tender lamb with great flavor and texture. It will impress your guests, but only you will know how easy it is to make. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, I'm feeling a little bit fancy. So our celebration is about a little fancy dish, but that's pretty easy to make. We're gonna be making a pistachio crusted rack of lamb. So let's get started. Now what is rack of lamb? This is a rack of lamb and it's from the rib cage. They usually are about eight bones. This has the tenderloin here. So when you cut these, you get a nice little chop, sometimes called lamb lollipop. It's very delicious and very, very easy to cook. Now this rack is in the French style, which means the butcher took off all of the sinew and fat from the bone. So you get these nice little kind of like handles if you're gonna eat it like a lollipop. Now the recipe I'm making is the measurements are all to make two racks. I'm just gonna show you one today, but that's all right, it's gonna be great. First thing we did was we preheated the oven to 350 degrees, which is 180 Celsius. Now I've got my favorite cast iron. Let's turn this back on. I have it heating over a pretty good high heat. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to it about a tablespoon or 15 mils of olive oil. That's just going to help the lamb get started. While this heats up, we're gonna season the lamb with salt and pepper. All over, make it snow. Get little ends. All right, now, good grinding of pepper. Give that little pad on there. This side too. Okay, my oil is starting to shimmer, which means it's pretty much ready. I see a little wisp of smoke, so it's ready. Now we wanna brown this. I'm gonna start this with this fat cap down first, so it starts to render, it gets all nice and golden brown. And then we're just gonna brown it on all sides. Beautiful. This is gonna take three to five minutes. Alrighty, here we are. I've turned off the heat. I've taken this out of the pan. Look how beautiful that is. Nice and brown all over. Now I'm gonna put this behind me to cool down. And notice I have a cloth on this handle because this whole pan is very hot. And this pan is gonna go into the oven in a little bit. So I need to remind myself not to grab this with my bare hand. I have a nice bowl here. We're gonna start with pistachios. I have eight ounces or 135 grams of pistachios that I just ground up in my food processor. Now, if you don't have a food processor, you can put them in a zip top bag and bash it with a heavy pan or a rolling pin or something like that. Right in here. Next, a little freshness, parsley. I have two tablespoons, which weighed out to be about 10 grams, and I just chopped it up. Very simple. Next up is rosemary. Rosemary and lamb are marriage made in heaven. So I have two tablespoons, also 10 grams, of fresh rosemary that I finally chopped. It's very important to get fresh rosemary for this. The dry just won't do it. You'll try and chop it, it'll be a mess. So use the fresh. Right in. Last ingredient is garlic. Garlic and lamb, another marriage. I have four good sized cloves that I just chopped up finely. Get that right in. 
every last little bit of it. Now we're just gonna give this a little mix. Pretty simple. And that's our crust. And I can already smell the pistachios and the garlic coming together. I'm gonna pour this out on a plate so we have a nice wide surface to get this crust on the lamb. So let's get that spread out. And I'm gonna move it out of the way for just a minute. Our lamb should be cooled down, enough that I can handle it with my hands. Here we are. We need to have the crust stick to the lamb. Now, how are we gonna do that? I'm using mustard. I have a couple tablespoons here. Spicy brown mustard, you can use Dijon, you can use regular yellow, whatever kind you like. I'm in the mood for spicy brown mustard today. So I'm just gonna use a pastry brush and we're just gonna brush it all over very liberally on this top section because that's where the crust is going to go, just like that. But I wanna put it on the sides and on the bottom here too. It's just gonna add another layer of flavor. Now I know a lot of people don't like lamb, but try this. A lot of times lamb can be gamey because people overcook it. All these flavors I think will change your mind. Now let's get the crust on. Here's my plate of the crust. Very, pretty good looking. I'm gonna pick this up right in like that. Good push on the front here. All right, I'm gonna pat that in just to make sure. You can do the ends if you want, maybe I will for you. Now, this is gonna go back in the same pan. Just like that. And we're gonna roast this in the oven until we get 130 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 54 Celsius. And that takes 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven. How am I gonna to get to know that? I'm gonna use a thermometer, probe thermometer. And then once it's done, we're gonna pull it out and we're gonna let it rest. And while it's resting, it's gonna go up all by itself through carryover cooking. And it's gonna go up to 135 to 140, which is 57 to 60 degrees Celsius. And that's if you want it rare. If you want it medium rare, let it sit and rest and get up to 145, which is 63 Celsius. And that'll give you good medium rare. All right, so now we're going off to the oven. Now this cooked took about 25 minutes and we hit a temperature of 130. We've been letting it rest for a good 10 minutes and I just probed it and I got 135, 140. How do you serve this? This is very easy. You just slice off chops right between the bones and sometimes down here where the bone is, you may take a little wiggle, but a nice sharp knife will get through. Now don't worry, if a little bit of the coating falls off, that's okay. Let's see how it looks. Oh, perfect. That is exactly the way I like it. I'm just gonna cut off one of these chops right from the center. No one will notice. Look how beautiful that is. You can see that. So let's have a little taste. Wipe my hands. It cuts nice and tender, very easy to cut. It's got some of that coating that fell off. Mmm, mmm, -hmm. wow. Super tender, super juicy. Now lamb can sometimes be gamey. This is not, it's almost sweet. The coating, the mustard and garlic and the herbs have gone all the way through it. 
Now it would be perfectly acceptable to pick one of these up like a lollipop and go all caveman on it. I won't do that today, but I will wash it down with a good hearty red wine. Hearty red wine and lamb, another marriage made in heaven. So here's three things. As always, we will see you on Tuesdays for our regular episodes, Fridays for our basic skills or cocktails, and every other Sunday for our live streams. Now, I'm going to do my best not to gobble this down and to keep Phil away from it for the time being. So while I do that, I want you to watch some of these videos over here. Until next time, cheers. Well, no. Cheers.